This bracket was so top heavy that like when you have someone as a tenth seed that has to play stock taker as the second seed, like how can you even say uh, Sone could have won this tournament, like Mr. Mojo could have won this tournament. The, the, all of like the top 15, you could argue like these guys have a good chance to win. But this is not the way that we <laughs> saw it coming. Losers Ace brings us Stock Taker versus Suarez. Yeah. Of course, starting things off on Stadium 2. And Stock, I've been talking to a lot. He's been opting for Palutena a lot more as of late. Right. And going into his wide array of characters for specific players or play styles. And I like that type of a play because it's almost like an inversion of Palu herself, where she's not very fancy, but she covers a lot in what she does have. And you can alter it by a little bit, and it could change just how well you control a specific player or character. Yeah. And, you know, with uh, speaking of characters, like, Stocktaker himself has at least, like, a half a dozen to a dozen characters under his uh, under his belt. And I think every single one of them has is proficient in the Yoshi matchup. So... If this Palutena pick doesn't end up working out in this game, he can just switch to any of his other six or seven characters that he knows uh, this matchup with. Yeah, if anything, Stock can leverage the fact that uh, Yoshi's universally agree that Palutena is a bad matchup. Yep. Some are a bit more dramatic than others as far as how bad it is, but... <laughs> oh, just it's, nicked his baby toe. <laughs> it's not a safe one. No journey back to the stage, or even leaping into the air is a safe option for, for Yoshi. He's, he's just going to be eating damage. Well, he has to make sure he abuses his armor, which is like his saving grace in the air. Oh, I like that down tilt. Covered both the egg and the Yosh. It's really not often we get a chance to see a move cover both of those, but Yoshi coming in with the classic kill. He gets so many ways into up air at mid and late percentages, it's terrifying. Yeah, it, you can really tell that uh, the you know, Sakurai and the team designed the character to have this kit where things will lead to a kill move, and that's cool. It's a fairly concise plan, although I don't think the rest of Long Island could agree with how cool it is. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can agree, and I'm the one that said it. <laughs> Nonetheless, though, we're looking at a fairly even match, which, you know, if you're well aware of Suarez and Stocktaker's history, this should become to be expected at this point. The two of them have fought, in total, in Ultimate so far, well over 50 times in bracket. Yep. Countless matches going back and forth between the two You, of them. you roughly know the head-to-head -head count, too, if you want to throw it out there. I don't know if you want it's, to throw it. I know in bracket, for what's tracked off of Smash GG, it's like a 20-something to 20-something record very slightly in favor of Stock Taker, I think by a matter of three or six matches. Now, if you looked at any other two top players, yeah, the matter of six matches ahead against someone sounds massive, but considering the data pool... Yeah, if they have 50-plus against each other, yeah, I don't know if that matters too much. I'd, I think it's fair to say they're close to even. No, yeah, but that's the point, is that like they've played so often, yet they still manage to go back and forth. That was a nice setup from Suarez, and uh, bringing Stock Taker to his last stock, but... Uh, if Suarez can find his way, yeah, back into the center here, he'll be all right. He just needs to get a good hit in neutral to start off his uh, up air strings and land that first 50 damage that's basically guaranteed for Yoshi. But it doesn't look like so far he's been able to find that hit. Gets a few of them, though, and he gets the damage on no problem. Although, thankfully for Stock, his style of play with Palu is really good for a situation like this where he's willing to bait in the reaction and then just use the safer tools to poke away. Dash attack and back, back air in particular, phenomenal for being able to keep Yoshi in check because he can't just, you know, safely try to check it with something. Is that killing from below the plat? Yes, even oh, a good DI. Oh, just barely though. That DI was fantastic. Yo, the, the dead look upon these guys' face. It's, this is a scary bracket. Like you could tell I mean, the pressure is mounted onto... Yeah, onto. I mean, they, they know that unlike most situations where they play, this one's for seventh, you know? Loser's walking out of here with, like, $15. They're making back enough to justify having come here tonight. Oh, for sure, but, uh, you know, they're used to this being, like... This is grand. This is this usually is a $100 money match. <laughs> Yeah, when you put it like that, <laughs> that's, that's not too far off. I guess in that sense, it's, this is less pressure, but I don't know. Well, definitely not. Especially considering, like, as of late, as far as, like, the local scene is gone, a lot of people... <gasps> he has no jump. He still oh, got... Oh, that egg was perfect. 
Yo, never count Yoshi out. As long as he has some resource, he's coming back. Great aerial acceleration. He gets decent enough lift off the first and second throws. It's when you see the final third lift of Egg Toss where you got to really worry about that Yosh. I'm concerned that... Um, so Suarez keeps throwing out these grounded eggs, like these rolling ones, and Stock Takers jumped over every single one without fail. And uh, I'm a little worried that Suarez is going to catch on to that. Oh, I love that. He took a stock with that last game, too, and I absolutely love... There's something satisfying about watching that move hit. It lingers. Like, you just appear in it. It's literally a beam of light. Just whisks you away to the blast zone. And it's an especially great option against Yoshi, because you know he's going to try to recover high or, like, at a mid-range. Speaking of great Yoshi options, that was an excellent use of double jump armor to get out of that Nair string. Uh, only ended up taking 16 damage, which is way better than what most characters would take. Probably, like, close to 30 or 40. Ooh. Good use of up tilt. Honestly, that move, probably an underrated choice. It covers spot dodges, you know, it covers. Uh, it's a great anti approach. Option. Yeah. The problem is that, like, there's such so many good moves in Palu's kit that it's like, it's hard to properly rate something like that. And there's the first frame of up smash for you, <laughs> in case you ever wondered what that looks like. Up smash um, again? But yeah, up tilt, it has its very niche uses, but I feel like stock does a good job of choosing when to go in on them. Oh, here comes that damage. What's the fair end in there? Maybe be more careful with that. Oh, man. Yeah, you're not getting two of those. Ooh, Warp's down to the ledge. That was really risky, because Warp teleporting down in this game, like... I don't know. I feel like it's a big Yo, let us know, let us know if you're able to locate Suarez's ankles, because they're not on any screen that we could see back here. They're shattered to a fine mist after that. That's one thing I got to appreciate about Stock's Polo. Like, where he has, like, a general skill with a lot of characters, you can see that he he has very refined movement with Palu, and warp canceling is some of the cleanest things in all of Ultimate. Say what you will about everything else Palu brings you, but... Warp cancel movement always looking nice. Oh, that was a nice emergency evacuation, getting to the ledge, doing it again, finding his way back towards the center, and now see if he can get a hit in. And there's yeah, that back, hit. Back there, almost doing it. Yeah, almost doing it at 100. I mean, he's got max rage, so as far as he's feeling, uh, feeling like, yeah, this is a good time to throw out these moves. But uh, Stock Taker with that dash attack. Like I said earlier, man, there's a really good move just to throw out there because you're not contesting with it. Like, the, the best that you do is hit it, and then you don't get hit. Maybe. Right. These short and explosive flames, though, I'm not really seeing the purpose behind them. Like, Stock's throwing out a few of them, and Suarez seems to be wary enough that he hasn't gotten caught by any of them. And that was a beautiful catch from Suarez. I can't believe the first uh, that downer didn't kill, but you know what? He was able to clean it up with that uh, up air, so good stuff from Suarez. Oh, that shield looking unhealthy. That was unhealthy. so dangerous. If he got that break, I think he would have been able to shove uh, Stock off the stage. He might have actually been able to kill him at zero. That was another good example there of using that double jump armor to get out of those Nair strings. Most characters have to eat that. No, and these platforms are coming to his aid as well. You know what I'm actually seeing is maybe a bit of an unexpected tool? Um, Stock's use of auto reticles actually doing a really good job of checking Suarez's more aggressive approaches. Yeah, that move is the best anti-approach like thing that Palu has. Especially uh, for an aerially oriented opponent like, uh, like Yoshi. That up there is really it's enough. Wow. Stage. Suarez seems yep. disappointed. I mean, I don't blame him. No one seems to be today. having a good day today. 